I want to introduce uh, my brother, uh, Eddie Edwards. Uh, pe pe people think that's a joke when I say that. Uh, I, I mean it because he's uh, he's a brother in arms. Uh, you know, once once you serve, uh, your brothers with pretty much everyone who served. Uh, Eddie's Eddie's a good man. He uh, he ran in CD1 last term, and he's uh, he's made absolutely no decisions. But uh, I have so much respect for him. I, I asked him to figure out what he could say to us that would uh, be interesting and, and keep him out of uh, any problems with the FEC. So, so here he is, Eddie Edwards. First, I want to thank uh, the other Edwards family in, in the state. Uh, Jess Edwards got all the height, the uh, entertainment ability, hosting ability. I got stuck with the looks. <laughs> Your brother? Absolutely. <laughs> Different mothers, same brother. Listen, uh, I am so excited about the energy in this crowd here today. You know, I've been watching people coming and going. We're getting fired up. 2020 is right around the corner. So people are getting fired up. But I want to say just to say a few words, um, talk about what's going on in Washington, D.C. a little bit. And when we, there's no secret to any of us. The Democrats have gone so far left. So far left, they've fallen off the cliff. Let, let's think a moment about the uh, about the proposals and the plans they're putting out. The first one, the Green New Deal. The Green New Deal. So they want to take away your cars, close factories, destroy families, guarantee jobs, government jobs. That's the Green New Deal. That's not a new deal. That's not a new deal. New deal. That's just a bad deal for taxpayers. That's all that is. The second one. The second big proposal they had this year was Medicare for all. We've been down that road already. We've heard that before. You can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan if you wanted to. Now some of them are so radical, they've gone just so boldly tell us to our face, we're going to take your insurance. We're going to take it from you. The third plan they have, decriminalize illegal uh, immigration, border crossing. That's, that's the most absurd plan ever, to decriminalize illegal border crossings. You're more concerned about everybody else except for the people in this state and in this country, and our veterans. Now, I have to tell you, when you think about this, they're trying to restructure our American values. They're trying to change this country. I love America, and I know you love America. If you love America, let me hear you say it. here in Washington, D.C., that's a little low. Do you love America? There you go. So this is an American-loving crowd here, and this is New Hampshire. So in, 20, in, in the coming months, we have a couple things we have to get done. We got to get the special election done. We got to get Manchester back in the hands of Republicans. We got to help Victoria get that seat back in the hands of Republicans. And thirdly, in 2020, we need to make sure the Republicans are elected up and down the ticket. Yeah! yeah. We, have, we have a strong, strong president in President Trump in Washington, D.C. He's holding the line. We have a strong governor here in the state of New Hampshire. He's holding the line. We got to get them help. We got to get them help. So that means that the House has to go back to the Republicans. The Senate has to stay in the hands of the Republicans. And we have to change this structure here in the state of New Hampshire. If we don't do our jobs, and get out and vote and work together and stick together, we're gonna to lose a lot more than we've already lost. Make no mistake about it, this is about changing our culture. This is about changing our culture. Now I'm not gonna let it happen, I'm gonna fight. I hope you're gonna fight. Yes. We're gonna get it done. I mean, you say we're gonna fight together. We're gonna to fight together. Listen, I don't know if the weather's bad. I don't know if you're tired. I don't know if you have too much to drink. But come on, guys. We gotta get this. We gotta get our act together, right? right. So let me hear you. We're together. Yes. Yeah. There you go. We got team. <laughs> may God bless the United States of America, and may God bless the great state of New Hampshire. Amen. Thank you. I, I think I've said it before, but uh, that. I think was the last speaker. So at this point, you are free
to just put your seat backs and enjoy the recline position. Take care. Crook TV.